Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back, Kellen here with Droid Life. I'm gonna take you on a tour today of lock screen widgets for the Galaxy S4. Now, since the S4 is running Android 4.2, and it's running 4.2.2 to be exact, the most current version of Android, um, is capable of running lock screen widgets, which were introduced in 4.2.2, I'm sorry, 4.2 on the Nexus 4, Galaxy Nexus, Nexus 10, basically the Nexus line, right? It came with 4.2. So Samsung gave us the newest version of Android, we get lock screen widgets. But I wanna show them to you today just because Samsung sort of does this a little bit differently than, than, than one would expect. Um, it's also a little bit more difficult, I would, I would argue, than a stock Android. So to explain that, basically when you first boot up your phone, this is what you get. Um, you get uh, a clock and you might get a message up there, which I've written in pink as hi guys. And then you know you could swipe to unlock your phone. Uh, so if you wanna add widgets though, essentially what you have to do is swipe your widget down, get into sort of an edit mode. And then from there, normally you would be able to swipe over to the right or left and get to new pages and add widgets. You can see it's not letting me do that. Okay, so by default, Samsung turns off lock screen widgets. They want you to just have one and that's it. So if you didn't know what a lock screen widget was or what you were looking for, you would just think this phone didn't have them, right? So this is what you get. You're stuck with one lock screen. Now you can edit this. So I could edit this and say, uh, we can go ahead and delete out my hi guys, or there we go. I could just write in droid life in beautiful Choco cookie and pink, right? So save that, now it says Droid Life. So every time I open my phone, I'm blessed with this beautiful message. But uh, this is it for now, right? So unless I enable lock screen widgets, which I'm gonna show you in a second, this is what I get. So let's just jump out of here and go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go into settings. You wanna go into the My Device tab up top there and then lock screen, makes sense. Now the key here is to check the box for multiple widgets. You can see right here it says display multiple widgets on your lock screen. So you definitely wanna check that. That's option number one, step number one. The second thing here is you'll notice a lock screen widgets option uh, right here which says favorite apps or camera. And if we go into that, it allows you to set either the swipe from the right to be either a list of favorite apps or jump you right into your camera. So in stock Android, the swipe from the right allows you to jump right in your camera. It's the quickest way to basically take a picture. With Samsung, they're giving you two options. You can do favorite apps or camera. So right now I have enough favorite apps. I'll show you that and we'll come back and show you what the camera looks like. The other thing in here is clock or personal message. So your default clock, you can either set to be the personal message, which I have set as Droid Life and Choco Cookie, or you could do more traditional clock. Let's go with Choco Cookie. So that's basically what you need to set up. You need to have that box checked and then you can tweak some other things in there, okay? So let's go ahead and show you now what the difference is with that box checked. If we go ahead and unlock or wake. You can see I actually have dash clock already set up on here. Okay, so I set this up previously and it sort of saved it in the background. Now, if I want to access other widgets, this is the first step you have to always do. You have to swipe down the box for your widget to expand it and then you sort of get into this paginated mode where you can swipe left and you can see I have the remote set up in there. There's Google Now, there's Choco Cookie, and then over here is the familiar plus button. So I can hit plus, and I could go in and let's say add, let's find something fun. Let's just put music on there. So we can go ahead and add music, that shows up on there now. So as long as I'm swiped down, I can swipe between these. Let's say I don't want music, I wanna delete it, I can long press on it and go up and remove it by letting it go, or I could even arrange these and slide these over, and I could put music all the way up here if I'd like. You see you actually even have a, uh, a sort of uh, system down here that'll let you know which page you're on. But again, the first thing you have to do always is swipe down, and I'll show you that again. If you're in here and you haven't swiped down, you can't like access the new pages from the edge or anything like that, it actually tries to unlock your lock screen. So always swipe down, then you can access pages. Now in stock Android, remember you used to be able to swipe to the right and this is where you get into that camera shortcut. But again, Samsung's giving you two options. So you can swipe over and get to your favorite apps or you can swipe over and get to camera. Now I have it set to favorite apps. So let's say we wanna change that, right? So let's go back into lock screen options and lock screen widgets and favorite apps or camera and change that to camera. Save and let's just go ahead and lock and unlock, or I should say wake, swipe that down and swipe over, and that should take me right into the camera. 
And sure enough, it does. And we can take a picture of my beautiful Nexus 4. And that didn't focus, but it still works, right? So that's a quick way to get into your camera. Although I would argue that's not really that fast because you have to swipe down here, then swipe over. Now, if you didn't want to do that, you could just put a camera shortcut like I've done right here and swipe the camera shortcut up and that's much faster. So keep that in mind. But that's essentially how you work lock screen widgets on the Galaxy S4. You have to swipe down in order to get into this full view mode and then you can go from page to page. You can long press here and delete things, swipe between whatever, add more, look at Choco, Cookie, Droid Life, Pink, or uh, get into your camera or favorite apps or what have you. So uh, this is sort of just been a quick overview. Of them. Like I said, they're just a little bit more difficult than stock Android. So I wanted to make sure you guys all knew how to do this. Um, once you swipe down, you can actually swipe back up over here in this right sort of area. You probably do it on the left too, but that's just a good way to swipe up and hide them. If you're swiped down, you can actually grab the lock icon and swipe and it'll unlock the phone for you. So you don't have to swipe back up necessarily to lock your phone or unlock. So anyway, that's just a quick tour. Hopefully that explains it. So when you guys do get the Galaxy S4, you know how to work lock screen widgets because they're a little confusing. So anyways, Droid Life, check us out. More coverage coming to the Galaxy S4. Peace.